So you're considering making a move to Gulfport, Florida, or maybe you're just wondering what's up with Gulfport. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna take you all around Gulfport. We're gonna show you this in Tora Homes, which is gonna be awesome. Uh, we're gonna show you the town. Uh, we've got Neptune's Bar and Grill right behind me right here. Uh, we are at the beach uh, complex, which it's called a complex for a reason because there's way more to do than just put your toes in the sand. Um, but you can do that. We're gonna show you some of that as well uh, directly behind me here, y'all. Check this out. These guys are out here. It's uh, midday, so there's not too many people here. Uh, as the night kind of cools down, you'll start to see people show up. And these guys will play volleyball well into the night, which is awesome as the uh, sun kind of chills out a little bit here. But yeah, man, Gulfport, what's up with it? So in today's video, we're gonna show you all about this place, right? I'm gonna show you guys some properties. I'm gonna show you guys Beach Boulevard, which is where all the things happen. Um, some of our favorite restaurants, we're gonna take you on the Pink Flamingo Tour of Homes. We're not gonna do all the homes, but I'm gonna show you guys what those would look like and just give you an overall sense of what it would look like to either you know, live here, invest here, or play in the area. Um, and we're gonna do that right now. If this is your first time on the channel, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. My name is Juan Alcala. I'm a licensed real estate agent and a team leader here in Tampa area. And however you got to get hold of us, whether it's call, text, email, DM on Instagram, heck, I even put my calendar link down below. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions regarding the Tampa Bay area. Whether you want to know, you know, hey, we, we haven't covered a specific video, you'd like us to dig deep into that feel free to put a comment below too. know that I answer all of those personally just so you guys know that there's no bot there's no assistant uh, answering those directly that's going to be me so if you got any questions please feel free to reach out so we're on Beach Boulevard which is this is the spot uh, when you come down to Gulfport uh, it dead ends right at the, the beach park down here um, and this is where all the shops are this is where all the locals hang out um, if you come down here on a Friday or Saturday night you are going to find everyone in Gulfport hanging out out here you've got the Sea Dog Cantina Sumatra which is a great coffee shop um, there are all kinds of little unique boutiques here and one of the biggest things you're going to notice about Gulfport as in general is the fact that um, there's so much art it's got an art district people or you know they're all about the art here and um, you know as we tour the homestay I think you're gonna be able to, to get a little sense of that um, right now there's uh, a a home tour going on in the area and it's called the, the pink flamingo tour of homes and there is some pretty unique properties here y'all I'm not kidding they are some of the most unique properties you will find in all of Florida I believe um, the, the town has done a really good job of keeping hold of the culture you know this whole beach laid-back vibe everybody's hanging out community that's what you get here um, you know when you come to Gulfport and you can see by all of the colors right and you're gonna find homes in the area you know you tour these neighborhoods directly off the bay here and it is just full of eclectic artistic you know it's just a fun place to come hang out now the wife and i love to come down here and have dinner at pia's uh strongly recommend the carpaccio and the veal parmesan because you will not be disappointed um, great restaurant you, you can come eat outdoors which you're going to see that a lot of it here um, you know there's the brewery and eats which i'm um, going to walk past here in a moment um, you've got isabella's there's so many cool places to come hang out have a bite to eat dine in you know just enjoy your time out with maybe your significant other or friends and family whatever that is when you come down to Gulfport man you can see behind me here like there's so much to do y'all now it's a little bit dark here because when we're in the Sun it's just crazy bright but most of the dining is uh, both indoor and outdoor so for perspective here golf carts and are welcome and pets are most certainly welcome y'all so it's very dog friendly and we've talked about this before but all of st petersburg you know the wife and i were down in st pete this morning for the for the market uh, they do an outdoor market every every third saturday i mean you come check that out 
and then here's the brewery and eats. So you can come down here. I encourage you to get the pretzel. I know people say that. I'm not a pretzel guy, to be honest with you, but their pretzels are awesome. Their cheese is awesome, and the mustard is unbelievable. So strongly recommend you that. Get the uh, IPA. You will not be disappointed with that either. Um, good, good, good stuff there. So let me show you here. Here's the sign. So you guys can check it out. Know what you're looking for when you come back down. It's a great place to come hang out, check out what's going on at Gulfport. And don't shop, don't sleep on these local shops, y'all, because they've got some really cool, um, both art, furniture, um, pretty much everything you need when you're down in the area here. And we're gonna walk past Pius here in a second, but I just wanted to take you guys on this tour. Um, I hope you guys like this. The one thing I'm always wondering is like, do you really wanna come hang out and get a sense for what it is? Um, this is the place to do it, right? Bear with me, make sure I guys got you in the shot. Here's Pia's veranda. This is where Kate and I love to come have dinner. There's covered patios up top. The indoors there seats about six tables and there's probably 25 tables outdoors and they mix them in with the trees. The thing I love about the area here is people really try to preserve um, as much as they can before they tear it down. Um, and I think that that's fun because it does add a lot of character um, to the area and it keeps things, I don't know, interesting you know what i mean like there's nothing wrong with corporate you know if that's your vibe um but sometimes you just want to go sit on the water hang out a little bistro you know hang out by the road and people watch <laughs> right? right there's nothing wrong with that so i always like to show that and then here is the main restaurant uh for pia's and there's a ton of tables in there y'all that's all indoor dining for the most part there are some tables outside just as overflow but the veranda is where you want to go if you want to kind of hang out outside now, obviously you know in july when it's 91 degrees and it's 90 percent humidity you ain't gonna want to go hang out down there but you can the welcome center is directly behind me here the gulfport casino is at the corner here i'm going to show you guys that too you're going to get a get a shot of that but we're going right down um, to the actual beach itself and williams pier where there's world-class fishing off of that y'all it's one of the the, the staples in the area if you want to come out and put a hook in the line that's the place to do it uh, but as we walk by here down at the corner here you've also got caddies which is uh, very there's a caddies in almost every beach community here in Pinellas County um, very good food uh, it is one of those it's a little bit more touristy so if that's what you're looking for we're gonna show you guys some other areas today too in terms of restaurants we're gonna see Neptune's which is one of the local spots right on um, right on the boulevard here uh, Neptune's is, is definitely one of those places where people will talk about uh, what else do we have and we talked about the sea dog um, what am I missing here there's one I wanted to share with you guys forgive me brain fart but we're walking the town check out these shops behind me it's called Zia really cool down here they got this really cool hot dog spot which you can see right there if dogs are your thing ice cream obviously down here too they've got a shop for dogs which I think is awesome. Um, the Let It Be ice cream shop is right here behind me. Check that out right here. And this place is called Paw Paws. It literally is for your pups. It's pretty cool. And on the corner, we get to Neptune's, which is really cool. That's Caddy's, like I said. You guys can check that out. And then right down here, we've got the Gulf Court Casino which is no longer an acting casino, but it is a ballroom and convention center. So they do weddings there. You can uh, block some time, throw a private party, retirement party, whatever you want to do. The bus and the trolley run right through here, guys, so you can get through most of Pinellas County just by coming here. You can see the bus stop right behind me there. Uh, and like I said, you've got Neptune right here on the corner. The Tiki Bar is right here as well. You know, we're right on the bay now, guys. So I wanted to kind of give you some perspective here on what this looks like. Now, one of the things about the beach complex that I absolutely love is first and foremost, it's on the beach, y'all. But, beach volleyball. They've got tennis over here, too. You've got pavilions on the other side, which I'm going to walk you guys by shortly here. Um, they just make the area super cool. You can rent the pavilions and sit right out by the bay. Um, let's take you a little bit closer so you guys can check it out. Looks like they're setting up for a wedding. So you guys can see what that looks like. I'll take you down by the pier too. Because it's a really, really cool spot. And then we'll walk you over to the pavilion side of it and see what that looks like. But yeah, if you're looking to do a wedding, you 
can do that right here. Um, and then I'll take you up to the pier, which is super popular with fishermen for good reason because it's a good place, great place actually to come. Like I said, throw a hook in the water and see what you can catch. It's going to get a little bit windy. It's a windy day today. I want you guys to be able to see this. I mean, this place is so far. I love it. Bear with me with the wind noise, y'all. We might not be able to get out there. Alright, so here's the thing about Gulfport homes. I really feel like it's like you're out hunting Easter eggs. And, you know, we talked about the, the Pink Flamingo home of tours, and I'm having a hard time saying that. But this house right here, y'all, this house is so cool. Um, this is a great example. It's the old beach bungalow style that we're talking about. But they've got this carousel horse in their front yard. And again, when we talk about the art and the culture of this area, this is exactly what I'm talking about. This street alone has three houses that are on the tour and I can't remember how many houses are on the tour itself but there's quite a few the trolley runs around you can go park at the marina the trolley will come pick you up and take you on this home tour um, and if you've ever been to areas like Charleston where they do ghost tours or Savannah where they do those types of tours I think it's Savannah actually where they do the ghost tours and then Charleston which is actually stunningly beautiful as well I mean it's just a great place to go and get a get a sense for what the community and the culture is like and again here's another home that's on this list this home is stunning beautiful uh, shotgun style home which is really great to have too and i'm gonna keep walking here because why not share these with you guys and get the third home on the tour coming up you can walk this the neighbors are all friendly obviously they make the homes accessible uh to you so you can come check these out but i just find it fascinating when um, a whole community embraces this type of attitude um, and it's really fun to come check out the art is just live down here and again it makes everything feel really cool check out this mailbox y'all it is a tortoise <laughs> And if this doesn't say beach, I don't know what does. I just don't. What a really cool property. Even down to the painting on the, uh, the fence there itself. So gotta love Gulfport. It's very, very cool. Alright, so we're here at Climber Park and it's right here at the intersections of uh, Gulfport Boulevard and Beach Boulevard. And uh, as you can see behind me, you've got the really cool eclectic sign and you know, that's just the vibe of the entire area. But this park is very unique. It's narrow. I would say it's probably about maybe 50 to 60 yards wide, but it goes almost a half mile. <laughs> and um, there's walking trails all around. Um, as you can see right here, I'll get you guys back to one of them. There's pavilions, there's areas where you can walk down. There's little workout areas it's in the middle here as we head back towards the beach. Um, but it's a really cool vibe, right? It's a good place to come hang out with the family, take the dog for a walk, take the kids for a walk, take yourself for a walk, whatever it is. But it's right off the, the main road here uh, with Gulf Pole. Gulfport Boulevard, which takes you back to all the amenities, um, you know, Publix, all those types of things too. Um, so your shopping, CVS, everything you need is back down there. Um, it's, but as uh, Beach Boulevard dead ends, that goes right back to where we were with all the shops. You know, all the great areas that you can go check out. The nightlife is fabulous. And that's kind of something else I wanted to talk about too. I don't want to skim past that stuff. 
The nightlife here, the nightlife here is rated at B plus. Um, the culture is amazing, and I know I've mentioned that several times, but like, it's a very laid back, come hang out, enjoy yourself type of vibe. I wouldn't say it's a party district at all. I would say it fits right in that happy zone of like monday through friday during the day is going to be pretty laid back friday saturday night is going to be exactly what you want in terms of nightlife like you know sometimes you want to go to those quiet places and hang out but other times you really want to go where you know the city feels alive and that's the one thing i will say for gulfport particularly is it definitely feels alive um, it's a fun place to be it's it's got lots of eye candy you know um, in terms of you know the the art and the housing and it just has a really cool coastal vibe so i really am happy to share this with you guys today and uh yeah man i hope you enjoy it as much as i do So I'm at the Clam Bayou Nature Preserve, which used to be known as Osgood Point, um, right across the way from the marina here, which you can see behind my back. Just missed a really cool yacht pulling out here. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. But uh, this is a really cool nature preserve. Um, it's set up to, you know, uh, for clams and, and other uh, sea life to protect them as a habitat. There's mangroves back here lots of walking trails as uh, you can see right now i'm on one right now a bunch of crushed shells it's a cool place to come hang out go for a walk you're right on the point um right across the way here y'all you can see right there is the don cesar hotel that is boca siga bay we'll get into that uh, a little bit more today too uh, but just beautiful area to come check out there's a nice breeze going on today it's 81 degrees y'all not breaking a sweat we're out right by the water on the point here and it is just stunning a really cool place to come hang out you can launch your kayaks out of here you can launch your um your paddle boards out of here you can come down and fish there's actually a fish cleaning station that's not my thing i don't fish anymore my dad used to torture me with fishing when i was a kid um when i say torture me i mean like he wasn't hurting me but he'd make me go sit in a boat for five six eight ten hours a day um, and i've had my fill uh, sport fishing is awesome down here that i'm all about <laughs> but uh, uh that was my tangent on, on fishing yeah. But it's just you know really cool park to come hang out and, and do that thing. So to be able to have a station where you can, you know hop out at the end of the day, pull your fish up that you caught, you know from fishing on the pier and the point here, as you can see directly behind me right here, um, and then be able to clean them up before you go home. I think that's a nice touch. Most parks don't offer stuff like that. But down here you get that option, which is absolutely beautiful. You can see the boats coming in right here. I mean, y'all, what's not to love? about Gulf Point. I mean, it really is a Gulf town. It feels great in the coastal, you know, again, St. Pete Beach right behind you there. Focus your Bay, all of the beautiful real estate behind you here. You know, again, if you follow this around, this trail goes around quite a bit um, in terms of area. Let me get out to the point here, show you guys also what this looks like from the pier. You can see it. You got that old boat that's washed up down on the uh, the shore there. Very cool. But yeah, wanted to share this with you guys too. Can't go wrong down here, y'all. Can't go wrong.
we are at the first property that we're going to check out today and this one's a three bedroom two bath completely renovated 1600 square foot home here in gulfport florida and uh we'll show you some photos right here so you guys can check out the quality of the work that they did inside of here great lot this lot is really deep you got a covered porch in the back absolutely love it um, this home also is the furthest away um, from the beach that we're going to check out today at a whopping seven minutes so <laughs> i think you'll find that gulfport is not a huge community it's a little uh, smaller than four miles in total right off the coast and um, it is quaint it's a great place to hang out lots of art as we've discussed already today the other thing i want to show you is the types of homes you're going to see you know this home here is stick built you've got a mix of stick built homes and these uh the lock single family homes too which you're going to see behind me here this is a lot more common um, as to what you see in the area but you know gulfport being an older uh gulf community um, definitely has uh you know some older homes in it as well so that's something to uh, keep in mind there's not a whole lot of available inventory right now this one being listed at 385 is one of the the, the cheapest single family homes that we're going to find in gulfport right now um, but at the time of this recording anyways but it's still a great property and you know when we look at the entire area here you know it's 15 that, that's priced fifteen thousand dollars below the current uh medium home sale here in pinellas county per perspective so just want to give you guys a little bit of perspective and then we're gonna go check out these other properties today too Very cool property. I'm excited to show this to you guys here. This is a brand new construction. Uh, it's a four bedroom, three bath, 2,100 square feet. Beautiful home. I'll check out some photos right here. It's incredible. It's currently listed at 768,000. Uh, we are four minutes to the beach. <laughs> so that's, again, that's one of the really cool things about Goldport is you're just really never far away from the beach. You know, if the toughest drive you're gonna make is eight to 10 minutes to get down to the water, it's not gonna be a very difficult day for you to get down, enjoy those outdoor amenities that Gulfport has to offer and as we discussed that is one of the biggest draws to this community the culture here the diversity the outdoor living the parks they have are incredible but the fact that you're just able to hop on the bay put your paddleboard your boat go fishing whatever those things are man it is awesome so glad to be able to share these things with you guys today uh, and we're going to check out at least one more property and uh, we'll get to that next final home of the day is something very unique. This home is listed at 1.2 million um, and bear with me y'all, it, it's unique. It is a five bedroom, three bath, four car garage. Now here's where it gets really cool. Um, the main house, and there's two, the main house has three bedrooms, two baths, and it is over 1,800 square feet. And then the four car garage has a uh, guest home above it with two bedrooms and one bath. Uh, rent it out, do whatever you want. Um, but that place is incredible. And there are very fair, few properties that have in-law quarters in the area here. Um, you know, a lot of the homes like we discussed are a little bit smaller. 
you know they tend to run in that you know 800 to 1100 square foot range in terms of uh, size you can see these homes around it here in the, in the neighborhood um, but to have a property that you know you can turn into an investment property um, you could literally have the in-laws quarters or you know maybe you have a family member who, who needs a place to stay but what better place to do and, and down at the end of the corner right here which you can see right there is Hoyt Field um, so great park baseball fields right there and this thing is a two-minute drive to the water so um, it probably takes longer to get in the car <laughs> and get the car cooled down to get to the beach um, for me I'd be walking every time uh, but everybody's a little bit different but I just want to give you guys some insights on that and to have a property like that is very very unique so you can grab that turn it into a seasonal rental use it as an Airbnb whatever works best for you but properties like this are very few and far between in, in the entire area so I wanted to make sure I shared that with you guys and hey um, I hope that you got a tremendous amount of value out of today's video you know Gulfport is one of those great towns like we said you know great culture it's extremely diverse the art the outdoor living here I mean y'all there was so much outdoors to do here in Gulfport you know you're sitting there you're looking at, at Boca Siga Bay you can see the Don Cesar Hotel you know overlooking when when the um, you know for sunsets and the sun goes down every night I hope you got value like I said if you did please hit that subscribe button hit that bell and uh, please feel free to connect you know when you guys comment and you let me know uh, that you like these style videos it keeps me going and it keeps me making more videos just like this and I just want to thank each and every one of you who trust in me and my real estate team and continue to reach out to us from all over the country however you got to do that whether it's by phone text email heck you can even DM me on Instagram I do keep a link to my calendar down below as well you can schedule a time we could jump on a zoom meeting during those meetings what I do is I pull up the map I show you guys exactly where um, you know you might want to live based upon the type of lifestyle you're looking for you know and if that interests you keep showing up to the channel because we're gonna keep delivering until next time go out and live that type of life